See, regarding this uh, topic, Secretariat, try to understand that in the last few years, that is in 2014, 2015 and in 2016, there have been a question related with Secretariat at the center or at the state level. Okay. So, normally uh, people do not study this topic under Indian polity. Earlier there used to be no question from it. But now in the last few years since there are question, it have become important for you to study this topic on cabinet secretary and uh, state secretary. Now regarding this uh, secretary, try to understand that okay, uh, at the union level, this is at the union level, we have at the union level we have <coughs> At the union level, we have a cabinet secretary. What is its function? Try to understand that generally a secretary, uh, at the term suggests, provide secretarial assistance. Any secretary provide secretarial assistance to uh, to particular to whom it is attached. So, in the case of cabinet secretary, in the case of cabinet secretary, uh, this cabinet secretary provide secretarial assistance, this cabinet secretary provide secretarial assistance to cabinet, to cabinet and also to cabinet committee. Cabinet secretary, cabinet secretary provides secretarial assistance to cabinet. See, there is one more secretary is there at the center, what is called a central secretary like what is there in the state secretary. So, I am not going to that part regarding this uh, central see what uh, whether it is at the central secretary or at the state, uh, state secretary they are providing secretarial assistance for the central government. So, cent central secretary provides secretarial assistance to the central government, state secretary provides secretarial assistance to the state government, but I am talking here about cabinet secretary. So, cabinet secretary provide secretarial assistance to the cabinet that is to the cabinet ministers. When the cabinet minister go for a cabinet meeting, they provide secretarial assistance and when this see there are in the cab, there are also called as cabinet committees, cabinet committee on uh, economic affairs, cabinet committee on political affairs, cabinet committee on appointment. So, where few important cabinet ministers will be there, May, many of the cabinet committees headed by the prime minister. So, basically what is this secretarial assistance is all about? For example, in the case of cabinet meeting, what should be the agenda of the meeting? What should be the agenda of the meeting? The documents to be uh, discussed or documents to be presented, all the things will be and any decision taken by the cabinet, any decisions taken by the cabinet, they have to ensure that uh, whether that decision is being properly implemented. So, the supervision, all these things will be performed by the cabinet secretary. To perform this function, the cabinet secretary is headed administratively by a post what is by a person what is called as cabinet secretary. So, cabinet secretary, cabinet secretary is the head of cabinet secretary is the head of cabinet secretary. So, basically and the cabinet secretary political head will be naturally the prime minister since the cabinet head is prime minister. Now, try to understand regarding the cabinet secretary, few few important things are very important regarding cabinet secretary. Uh, one, the cabinet secretary only actually basically deals, he will be always attend this cabinet meeting, arrange all the required things for the cabinet committee and also for the important cabinet meeting, secretarial assistance through him only it will be de decided. And regarding this uh, post, try to understand that the cabinet secretary is considered or it is this he is the senior most IS officer or it is highest post an IS officer can dream about regarding the cabinet secretary. Okay. But the regarding the cabinet secretary few things which you keep in mind is that he does not hold any particular, he does not head any particular department. Cabinet secretary does not hold any particular department. You take any secretary, finance secretary, home secretary, any sec expenditure secretary, anything like that, every secretary will be holding a particular department, but cabinet secretary will not hold any, he will not be holding any particular department. Second thing is that regarding the cabinet secretary is that uh, recently in 2013, 
uh, due to uh, Supreme Court have made a uh, ruling in relation to there was a situation in which the civil servant were uh, in many of the cases were transferred frequently as part of harassment. There were minimum tenure for this uh, higher senior most civil servant. So, in order to uh, give them a, a minimum tenure and a guarantee to address their grievances in relation to appointment, senior civil servant appointment and in relation to uh, transfer, the Supreme Court have asked the center and the state to set up a board what is called as civil service board. Civil services board. So, basically what is the function of civil service board? It will take care of the or it will recommend appointment, appointment to senior post and also it will give recommendation in relation to the transfer of. So, basically it gives a minimum tenure for senior most offices. So, this civil service board has to be set up at the union level and at the state level. So, in the union level, the union level, the civil service board is headed by the cabinet secretary. It is a very important point. You have already question. Cabinet secretary, due to his post, will chair or will head the civil service board. Chair means, so it is a ex officio position. Whoever is the cabinet secretary, he will be the chairman of civil services board. So, that is another important thing regarding, so normally he is a senior most highest officer, he heads the civil service board and he, uh, cabinet secretary basically have a very important coordinating role, very important coordinating role is because as the uh, head of the cabinet secretary, he has to play a very important cabinet in relation to inter ministerial coordination and basically he is also the chief uh, policy advisor in the sense that in relation to as the as the a person who is helping the cabinet uh, meetings, he will give a uh, advice to the to his political boss that is the prime minister. He, he can give advice to the political minister and more than that this cabinet secretary totally uh, allocate the business. Try to understand that the union government functions under allocation of business. Business is allocated to different ministries or under the, uh, different departments. So, this business how should be transacted? We have a tra allocation of business rule, union government allocation of business rule, union government transaction of business rule. So, all this allocation and transaction is this, al this function is performed by the cabinet secretary under the guidance of cabinet secretary. So, this vital point you keep in mind regarding the uh, functioning of cabinet secretary, but try to understand that the most important function performed by the cabinet secretary is providing secretarial assistance to the cabinet and to the cabinet committee and what is the, uh, the major role played by the cabinet secretary who heads the administrative head of the cabinet secretary that point is very important for you. Okay. So, this key thing regarding cabinet secretary is very important and UPSC have asked two or three times question related with cabinet secretary. Please try to answer that question. See the first 2015 question. The executive power of the Union of India is vested in the president. So, that statement is wrong. The prime minister is the ex officio chairman of the civil service board. Who is the ex officio chairman? Yeah. It is cabinet secretary. So, both the statement are wrong. Then regarding the 2014 question. Which of the following is so are the function or functions of cabinet secretary? First one, preparation of agenda for cabinet meeting that is the secretarial assistance. Second one, secretarial assistance to cabinet committee. Third one, no. allocation of financial resources to the ministry is not the function. So, answer is 1 and 2 only. <coughs> Now, regarding the third question, 2009 question, the constitution of India provides that all cabinet minister shall be compulsorily the sitting member of Lok Sabha only? No, it can be from say, only Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. So, that statement is wrong. Union cabinet secretary operates under 
the direction of the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs? No, under the direction of Cabinet or the Prime Minister, headed by the, it is Union Cabinet Secretary is under the guidance of Prime Minister. Because he is the political head, Cabinet Secretary is the administrative head, this. Administrative head, this. The Cabinet Secretary, the political head, this. Cabinet, it is the Prime Minister. So both the statements are wrong.